Hey everybody, uh, just wanted to do a quick video to give you kind of a state of the show address, if you will, let you know a little bit about what's going on. Uh, first of all, no, the show is not going away. Let's, let's just settle that right now. Show is not going away. So, uh, number one, in case any of you are not aware, I did apply for Channel Awesome's recent talent pickup and I did not get in. I fully expected that going in. I knew it was a long shot, but I figured the worst they can do is say no. So I applied and they said no. Um, I wasn't even on their short list. And really considering the movie reviewers they already have with you know the Nostalgia Critic, Film Brain, the Blockbuster Buster, I figured there wasn't much room for me anyway. So I'm not too broken up about it. It would have been nice to be on the site, but life goes on. Uh, they did pick up some very talented people, I noticed. Uh, they also did not pick up some very talented people that I fully expected to get on there. Uh, Derek the Bard, in particular, I thought he was a shoe in but they turned him down. They turned down Isle of Rangoon. Uh, Film Renegado, I guess he was on their short list, but didn't quite make the cut. Uh, so, yet, yeah, clearly they had some very specific ideas for what they wanted, Clearly, they wanted some horror guys. I think they picked up three of them. So there was that. Uh, but yeah, I clearly I wasn't part of their plan. But what can you do? Uh, really, I was just happy to finally get the rejection letter after waiting for it for so long. Because it took seemingly forever for them to start sending those out. Which I understand. They had to go through, I think, 1,200 applications that poor bastard Rob, I do not envy that job having to sit through every single freaking one of those. Oh man. But yeah, it's okay. I'll be just fine. Uh, the other thing that people may have noticed recently is uh, blip.tv has started making yet another round of cuts. They did this last year um, and they did it again this year. And this year I did not survive the cuts my channel has been axed. I knew this was coming, so they, they, this not like it caught me off guard or anything. I expected this. They they did give me some advance warning. Uh, I was still a bit skeptical if it would actually happen when they said they would, because they originally told me I would not be able to upload anything new to the account starting in July. That didn't happen, so... Yeah, I wasn't really sure if the account would get shut down when they said it did, but turns out it was. And it's a shame to lose that because I did like being able to upload videos without having to worry about any time limits or any of YouTube's content ID bullshit. And unfortunately now that's gone. But really all this means for my show in particular is it's just going to be on YouTube from now on or possibly on one other alternate source if there's anything I have trouble getting onto YouTube. I might use something like Vimeo for that. Uh, that seems to be a popular choice. Uh, of course, this means I do have to put up with uh, content ID flags, which are almost always a pain in the ass whenever I upload something. Uh, although it hasn't been nearly as much of a pain as I thought it would be, uh, at least not recently. But as, as far as how much of a pain in the ass it is in terms of, like, on a scale of rectal discomfort, let's, that's not how you want to start a sentence. But on, on that scale, with a 1 being a mild itch and a 10 being, oh god, oh god, I just shout out a pineapple, it's been maybe about a 4, so, but not nearly as bad as it could have been, um... In fact, while I'm at it, in case anyone doesn't quite understand how YouTube's content ID system works, here's what happens. Whenever you upload a video, it runs it through some system to see if there's any potential copyright violations. And because I do use copyrighted footage in my videos legally, but we'll get to that, um, they're almost always flagged. Sometimes they get through without getting flagged for reasons I can't even begin to comprehend. Like when I did Cutthroat Island recently, that went through with no flags. Don't know how, but I'll take it. And sometimes they get flagged right away. And then what you can do when that happens is you can dispute the flag. 
and basically it goes back to whoever owns the content that was flagged and you you tell them hey this is a review it's being used under fair use please release the claim and they have 30 days to respond which i personally feel is way too long it's not necessary to take that much time and if they do respond and say, you're right, this is okay, we'll release the flag, or if they just wait 30 days and don't respond at all, which seems to happen with Paramount quite a bit for some reason, then the video goes back up and it's completely viewable by anyone and monetizable and all that. Uh, sometimes they can also say, no, our flag was valid and they reinstate the claim. And then at that point, you can dispute it again and basically just send them the exact same thing you just sent. Say, no, no, really, for real, it's fair use. And then again, they have 30 days to respond. Again, way too long. And at that point, they can either say, all right, we give up, we release the claim, or they can reinstate it again. And at that point, it becomes a copyright strike. And if you get three of those, your account goes bye-bye. I assume there's a way to counter that as well, but I've never had to deal with it, so I don't know. Um, and if you get a strike, which has happened to me in the past, and previously I just let it go because I didn't want to mess with it, but if you get a strike, you can still counter that as well, but when you do that, you actually have to file a legal counterclaim. Basically, what you're telling them is, in legal terms, come at me, bro. You're saying, no, I am keeping this video up. If you want it taken down, you're going to have to sue me. And then they have 10 days to respond to that. Why that one only gets 10 and the rest get 30, I don't know. But And chances are at that point, they're just going to give up and most likely will not sue you. In fact, as far as I can tell, in any case where there is actual legitimate fair use, no one has ever been sued. I mean, of course, if you're uploading stuff that is blatantly infringing, like full episodes of TV shows or full-length movies or what have you, of course they're going to sue you, so don't counterclaim that stuff. That's just stupid. But as long as you're doing something that is legitimately fair use, you're probably okay. So, that's the system I have to deal with on YouTube. Uh, but I put up with it because it is the best way to grow an audience and... It, it, it is a way to make ad revenue. I don't make a whole lot of money off of that. It's really just beer money, but it's money I didn't have before, so why not? And so, yeah. So that's where the channel is for right now. It's, um, as far as any videos that were on Blip that were not on YouTube because they got blocked at some point, I'm slowly trying to re-upload those. It's kind of a slow process because... Since the uh, content ID disputes can turn into copyright strikes, I don't want to have more than two of those going at one time because if I have three going at once and they all come back as strikes, then the account's in trouble. So, gonna be a slow process, but uh, I'm gonna get as much stuff back up as possible. Uh, even the old episodes that aren't very good, I'll still get them up there one way or another. If I gotta do it on an alternate site, so be it. So, that's basically where we are. Again, the show is not going away. It's just, it's not going to be on blip. That's all. And for anyone who's asking, as far as what's actually going to happen to blip itself, I don't even know anymore. I've, I've been hearing that blip.tv was eventually going to shut down entirely and all the top producers were going to be migrated over to maker.tv because Maker Studios owns blip now. But now I'm hearing that was a misunderstanding and that's not actually happening. They're going to keep running as two separate sites, which seems odd because Blip has pretty much been a walking corpse for the last six months or so. I don't remember the last time they updated their main page or put anything on their Twitter account or anything. But so, yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on. And as of today, it doesn't affect me, so I don't really care. But yeah, that's where we sit for right now. So... For the future, I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing, and beyond that, I guess it's partly up to you guys. What do you guys want to see from the channel? Do you want me to just keep doing my thing, do the cinematic excrement episodes, the occasional riff and vlog and whatnot? Is there anything else you'd like to see? Something TV-related, something video game-related? 
I don't know how good I would be in any of those things, but if there's anything in particular you had in mind, by all means, leave your suggestions in the comments. If, if you just want me to keep doing what I'm doing, that's fine too. I'm perfectly happy with that. And I guess that's about it. That's where we are. If you have any questions, by all means, leave them below. So take care.